and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and I am a photographer and business coach based in Charleston and this channel is where I share education for entrepreneurs as well as a peek into my life in the low country and I want to talk a little bit today about my journey of becoming a photographer and becoming a business owner. I actually already shared a video about my photography journey on this channel so I will link that below if you want to tune into that. Um, it's more of like a detailed description of how I started my business and how I got to where I am but today I want to speak specifically to my younger generation of creators and entrepreneurs and small business owners because if you're familiar with my story at all then you know that I started my business when I was 17 years old in high school I started doing photography at 16 but officially got a business license when I was only 17 years old so I was a high school junior uh, when I decided that I wanted to pursue my business more seriously and the summer before my senior year is when I officially got a business license and then my entire senior year I only went to school until about 11 a.m. because I had enough credits that I didn't have to stay in class all day so I essentially went full-time as a business owner when I was only 17 years old and a senior in high school. And then as I was applying to colleges and as my senior year was progressing, I ended up applying to seven universities and committing to a university that was about four hours away from home. And we got until a month before I was supposed to move in and I decided that it just wasn't right for me anymore and that I really wanted to pursue my business as my full-time career and forgo a college education. So I actually called the college after like having a roommate, buying stuff for my dorm, committing to all my classes, paying all the fees, and I revoked my admission and went full-time instead. And now I've been a full-time entrepreneur for eight years. I make multiple six figures in my business of revenue each year. And I want to talk to you guys about starting a business when you're young, because when you start a business, when you are still a high school student that barely has a driver's license, it presents its own set of challenges. And I think that there are so many talented creatives and talented just students and individuals that want to pursue entrepreneurship and that want to pursue their passion, but they just assume that it's not in the cards for them because they need to go to college first or they need to have a degree or they're too young and nobody's going to trust them. And I want to just speak a little bit of life into that part of my audience today. I want to just talk to you guys about what that looked like for me and give you three tips and three strategies that I believe helped me to build my business as a young entrepreneur. Um, and that really changed the game for me and making sure that I was able to get to where I am now and not lose my passion or fizzle out or um, just kind of lose who I was in the midst of starting a business. So for me, this journey was very unique because like I said, I started going to school only part-time during my senior year. So I was able to really pursue my business full-time. Um, and then I decided not to go to college, but my dad actually made me go to a semester of community college to prove to him that like I could balance both. He wasn't okay with me not going to college at all initially because he wanted me to still pursue a degree and have a backup plan. So basically what happened is I revoked my admission from the university that was like four hours away and I stayed at home and went to community college for a semester. But I was drowning. I was exhausted all the time. I could not keep up with the workload of my classes and the workload of my business. So I basically begged for a semester off. I just sat my parents down and was like, hey, please just give me one semester to see what I can do with my business if I can put 100% of myself into my work. I had always balanced both school and entrepreneurship and I wanted to see what it looked like if I went full time with my business and I was able to bring in enough revenue in that one semester off to prove to my dad that I didn't need to go back and I haven't gone back since. So I wanna share with you guys three tips specifically for young entrepreneurs today that I think are really vital to know about beginning a business when you are really young. Um, and that first thing is you have to protect your passion. You have to protect your dreams and your excitement and the thing that you're trying to pursue. Because the reality is, at least for me, I was going to a public high school. I was surrounded by people whose priorities were football games and partying and like getting into the best college and all of those things are great, but it just was not where I was nor where my mindset was as a entrepreneur. And so I had to be very careful about who I talked to when it came to my business because I got discouraged very easily when people would bully me or mock me or make fun of me. There were tweets that would go viral in my town making fun of like how bad my work was and how like basically the consensus was like, who does this girl think she is? And I, it, it really messed with me. Like I had a really hard time getting through that season of bullying and being confident enough in myself to keep pushing forward. But what I learned is actually something that my pastor, Daniel Floyd teaches at Life Point Church um, in Virginia. And he talked about the concept of kitchen table friends and that you have friends who come over and they ring the doorbell and they walk in and they like sit 
right out the like at the kitchen table or on your couch and they like keep their shoes on and it's kind of awkward and they don't make themselves at home. But then there's friends who don't even ring the doorbell, they walk on in, they kick your shoes off, they sit down at your table and they're the friends that you have really hard talks with and you tell the really hard stuff and the really good stuff and the friends that speak life into your like world and into your thoughts and into your dreams and those are the only people that I would let speak into those areas of my business. So I would not talk to anybody. I wouldn't ask my teacher's opinions. I wouldn't ask my friend's opinions. I wouldn't go to like a random student at school and just like expect them to be excited for me because then I became really, really discouraged and I was not letting people speak life into the things that I was excited about. So protect your passion and only share about the things that you're excited about with your kitchen table friends because those are the people that are going to speak life into it. And that is so important when you're starting a business at a young age because you have enough challenges in front of you already. The second tip for young entrepreneurs that I think is really, really important is that we have to present ourselves as a little bit more professional and kind of like overcompensate a little bit for our age in order to earn our clients trust. Because if somebody knows that I'm only 16 or 17 years old, they may be a little hesitant to entrust me with their wedding photography. But if that's not the first thing that they know about me, if the first thing they know about me is that my social media is really uh, professional and that my website is really well done and that my brand is really put together, they are way more likely to move forward and book with me if they find out that I'm 17, like five steps into the booking process, not the first thing that they know about me. And so I think that every single young entrepreneur should take themselves seriously before anybody else does. I think one of the best things that I did is that I set myself up and made myself look like a professional photographer way before anybody else believed that and way before I had enough experience to really even call myself a professional photographer. But I wanted everybody else to view me as successful and put together and professional and know what I was doing. So I took myself seriously before anybody else did. And that's what allowed everybody around me to start to believe in me and see the passion that I had and like encourage me and be excited for me. And what allowed people like my dad to understand that there really was potential for this to be a full-time career because I took myself seriously and I set myself up to be viewed as a professional. And even when I was being made fun of, and even when people were like, who does this girl think she is? I continued to push forward and take myself seriously. And the third thing and the tip that I tell anybody who asks me something like, looking back five years ago, what tip do you wish you had told yourself? Or what do you wish that you knew at the beginning of your business? And the biggest thing that I wish I knew as a young entrepreneur is that finding balance between work and life is so vital, especially in the early seasons of your business if you are a high school student or a college student and also trying to balance adolescence and balance being with your friends and going to football games and having a social life. There has to be a balance. I took my second tip about being professional and taking yourself seriously. I took that to an extreme where I was just working crazy hours. I was skipping a ton of social events in order to grow my business. And that has to happen in some capacity in order for you to be able to push forward, but it should not be, you shouldn't sacrifice your entire social life and your entire like fun side of your life for the sake of professionalism for your business. Those things can coexist. So if you just needed to hear that, just know that business and professionalism can coexist with being a fun, normal high school or college student. Those things can happen at the same time. Two things can be true at once. You can go out and have fun with your friends and then come home and run a successful business. So don't sacrifice one or the other. Find balance, find systems, find ways that you can automate your workflows in your business so that you can still have a life because you never get those years back and it's so important for you to make memories with your friends and have a normal adolescence and not sacrifice all of that for business. So find balance. But I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that any of you young entrepreneurs in the world know that you are so wildly capable of doing whatever it is that you feel passionate about and your age should not hold you back from being able to pursue your passion. But I hope this provided some perspective. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I share new educational content each week. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.